Hi guys, welcome back to Arivin Info Channel. This is the Java series session 2. Now let's discuss JVM that is Java Virtual Machine. JVM is the engine that drives the Java code. Mostly in other programming languages, compiler produces the code for a particular system. But Java compiler produces bytecode for a Java Virtual Machine. Okay, when we compile a Java program, then bytecode is generated. Java source code will be converted into bytecode by compiler. Bytecode is the source code that can be used to run on any platform. We have already discussed Java languages, the platform independent. How is it possible? Because of Java virtual machine. Okay, so Java source code will be converted to the bytecode by the compiler. Bytecode is an intermediary language between Java source and the host system. As different computers with a different operating system have their JVM. When we submit a dot class file, that is the bytecode to any operating system, JVM interprets the bytecode into machine level language. What are the translators are used in Java language? Compiler as well as interpreter. We all know very well about the translators. Compiler and interpreter. So what is the difference between the compiler translator and the interpreter translator? Compiler compiles the whole program and gives the list of errors. But interpreter means what will happen? Line by line execution. Okay, this is the main difference between these two translators c language c++ or used the compiler translator python language use the interpreter java language use both the interpreter and compiler the next part j or e java virtual machine is the main component of java architecture and it is the part of what the j or e java runtime environment okay which is used to provide an environment at runtime. It is the cause of implementation of Java Virtual Machine. It contains a set of supporting libraries and core classes and various other files that files are used to by JVM at runtime. Okay. JRE is a part of JDK, Java Development Kit. JVM is the part of JRE. JRE is a part of JDK Java Development Toolkit. I hope up to this you all understand. Next, for executing any Java program, the following software must be properly installed. Go to the browser and search the JDK latest version. Download the JDK and install it properly. Why we have to set the path? If you are saving the Java source file inside the JDK bin directory, there is no need to set the path. Why? All the tools will be available in the current directory. So there is no need to set the path. But if we want to execute the Java file outside of the JDK bin folder, it is necessary to set the path of JDK. Okay, how to set? Go to the system environment variable click on environment variables click on the new button from user variables here variable name as path and the variable value will be the JDK installed path inside the C drive program files and Java, JDK17 and Bin. Click on the OK button. I already created the path. Here I have the path. Click on the Edit, Program Files, Java, JDK17, Bin. Okay. Click on the OK button and click on the OK button. Now the path is set. We can now execute the Java program from any drive, not only inside this particular folder. Okay, so if we execute the Java program inside this particular 
path means there is no need to set the path but if we want to execute our java program outside of this path means we have to set the path if you have any doubt just drop the message on the comment section have a nice day thank you